As we all know, the social media market's a bit of a mess at the moment, so I'm just going to go on a little bit of a rant here to talk about social media platforms and what I think of them. So, for me, the first real big social media platform was Twitter. I started on MySpace, we went on Facebook, but Twitter was the one that really worked for me. And I went on Twitter back in 2009. The thing that I really liked about it was just the fact that you could search based on topics. You, you know, you, you, it's really where hashtags started. You know, if people were talking about something, you could search for it, you could find it. Obviously, you know, we know that Twitter's gone a bit, uh, a bit downhill lately. It's turned into a bit of a very, uh, dumpster fire there, over there. And obviously people are looking for alternatives. So I just want to talk about what the alternatives are and what I think of them. So let's start with the with the old hands, which is Facebook. Facebook is, to be honest, not a lot of use to anybody right now, unless you uh, want to tell your friends and your family about where you've gone to the dentist or something like that. For anybody actually who's a creator, who's actually trying to reach people, reach new people, it's really not a lot of use at all, so I'm just going to completely leave Facebook out of this conversation. It's I don't really see a lot of benefit in it at all. So then we come on to the next member of the Meta family, which is Instagram. Now, Instagram used to be good. It used to have the ability to reach people. Again, you could use hashtags. You could... Uh, now you could appear in people's search feeds, people had a way of discovering you, but but again, like Facebook, Instagram has now taken on just some horrible algorithm where you make a post and then you're lucky if you uh, reach about 20 people with it. It's uh, Instagram's gone down that route of where it works for people who already have huge followings now. But if you're just trying to reach out to new people, it's just really difficult. It's just really difficult to actually break through the noise. It's just really difficult to get any kind of point across to people. You could be posting on Instagram every day and barely reach anybody new. A lot of time, even people who are following you, they find your posts being filtered out. So again, Instagram's not a lot of use for anybody. So now let's get on to Twitter. As I've said, Twitter used to be my favourite. When I discovered Twitter in 2009, I thought it was fabulous. I had TweetDeck set up on my my laptop and I basically had TweetDeck open for every waking minute that I was online. Just just watching watching the columns, watching the tweets flow in and you know, watching mentions and watching stuff going on. And you know, Twitter was great for that. I could post something on, on a topic and people searching for that topic could find it and you could uh you know you could insert yourself into the conversation you could give your opinion for better or for worse and people could find that opinion they could listen to it they could comment on it but since elon musk has taken over twitter now it's basically got to a point where it's a pay to play platform and if you don't pay now for the twitter premium and the blue tick and everything you just don't appear in search results anymore. You can look for a trending topic, you can go, okay, I'm going to use that hashtag, I'm going to talk about that, you might have a very good valid point to make, and your tweet gets seen by 20 people because it just doesn't, for whatever reason, show up in the uh, in the feed for that trending topic. It gets filtered out because you haven't paid your money. So, so again, if if you're not prepared to pay for Twitter, and I don't really see why people should be paying for it. You know, at the end of the day, they're making money off their ads. They shouldn't be uh, making the customers or the users pay for it. That's, a, that's not the way it works. They've got a captive audience there that they're selling ads to. That should be how they make their money, not by getting people to pay just to get their voice heard. That's, a, that's not a democracy, is it? So Twitter is, Pretty much just gone downhill now so of course everybody's looking for the twitter alternative and there's been a few that people have talked about people have talked about going to mastodon which i've personally never tried out 
people have talked about going to Blue Sky, which again I've personally never tried out because it's invite only and I've never got hold of an invite code. So the recent one that everyone jumped on was Threads. Suddenly Threads had this massive, um, massive launch and everybody jumped on it and Threads was going to be the next big thing to compete with Twitter. But to be honest with you, Threads just seems unfinished. I mean, Threads actually, to me, seems like something that I would have programmed myself back in 2010 when I was inspired by Twitter and I would have gone online and got a few a few bits of um, public domain source code and uh, come up with my own, own version of Twitter. That's what Threads seems like. It just seems unfinished, primarily because there's no search function on there. There's, there's no way to actually search for for tweets or search for topics and I can't see what the point is of having a a social site where people are supposed to discuss news and discuss sports if you wish or discuss any kind of ongoing topic music video games anything if you can't actually search for that topic what's the point of that so all that seems to happen on threads at the moment is that you go on there unless you've already bought over thousands of followers from Instagram, because obviously it's all tied in with your Instagram account, if you've bought over thousands of followers from Instagram, then fine, you can say something and those same people will see it. But again, you can't reach anybody new and you can't actually see what anybody's talking about on there. So as a social app, it's, it's pretty antisocial really, because you're just stuck in your original existing little group with no knowledge of what's going on around you in the world. You could be, there could be mass disasters or wars going on in the world, and if Threads was your only source of information, you'd be pretty much oblivious to it, unless somebody, somebody in your little bubble who you're following happens to mention it. You know, you've got no way of taking a look at the wider world. So, I think Threads at the moment just seems unfinished. It seems like a, a knee-jerk reaction that, that Meta threw together to try to compete. And yeah, it's it's just not happening. It's just not it's not doing what what Twitter used to do, where I could write a tweet on any subject and I could actually get out there and get my voice heard on that subject. It's just not doing it for me. So, what's the alternative? Well, there doesn't seem to be a lot at the moment, and it surprises me. Why hasn't anybody come up with a genuine Twitter replacement? Now I know that obviously Threads have had this problem where. Twitter think they kind of own a lot of the intellectual rights to having a, f a feed and all this sort of crap. But, you know, they, they seem to be threatening threads and they seem to be putting a lot of pressure on anybody who tries to come up with a Twitter clone. So that's obviously holding things up a bit, but surely somebody has to be able to come up with something. So, you know, this is a situation we're in at the moment. With social media, I'm just completely frustrated with it at the moment. I don't really know where I'm posting. I'm sort of going on at the moment. I'm posting on Twitter and nobody sees it. I'm posting on Instagram, nobody sees it. And I'm posting on threads and definitely nobody sees it. So, you know, you've got all the experts telling you Keep posting on social media, duh, 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 get your voice out, get your message out, you know, get grab the attention, all this sort of stuff. But none of them are really giving any attention at the moment. Not like, not like Twitter used to. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know where social media is at the moment. I think we've we need to give it another six months and see what um see what comes out of it. But anyway, just my little rant on social media and. The world rolls on regardless, but there we go. I've given my two cents, at least, at least here on YouTube, I can still get some sort of opinion out. Again, whether anyone sees it or not, it's all down to the algorithms, but you know, it's all about getting your voice heard, isn't it? Anyways, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate the likes and I appreciate the subscribes. If you've got any thoughts on social media, mention it in the comments below. And until next time, Take it easy. I'll see ya.